Hey everybody, Johnny here. In this video, I want to show you another new node that I've gotten added to the Blender code base for Blender 3.0. This one is called Curve Quadrilateral. You can find it under the Curve Primitives menu, Quadrilateral. This node has five different modes for creating quadrilaterals, or four-sided polygons. The first mode is Rectangle Mode. Here, you can define a width and a height. By default, it's set to a square at 2 meters by 2 meters. You can adjust them both at the same time to have a different size square, or you can adjust them independently for your rectangle. The next mode is Parallelogram. The Parallelogram mode will let you define a width and a height, but also an offset in meters. If your offset is zero, you basically end up with a rectangle or a square. But when you offset, you get that standard parallelogram shape. The third mode is trapezoid. Trapezoid mode gives you a height adjustment, the bottom width, the top width, and then an offset for the top. The next mode is called kite. The settings for kite allow you to adjust the width, the height from the center point to the bottom, and the height from the center point to the top. If you want a concave kite, you can make the top height negative. The final mode is points mode. In points mode, you have control over each of the four points, so you can drive them however you like. For instance, if I wanted to add an empty, and then drag it in, and have it drive the location of one of the points, I can do that. Now the quadrilateral node does output a curve, so you can very easily use the curve to mesh node with it, and then use another curve to define a profile shape. For instance, I'll add a curve primitive curve circle. And now I have the ability to change this resolution. So that's it for the curve quadrilateral node. I really enjoyed coding this one up, and I'm glad it's going to be included in Blender 3.0. This was added to the code base on July 12th, so it should be available on the July 13th daily build. I hope this new node inspires you to make something awesome. I appreciate you taking time out of your day to watch this video. If you're finding the channel helpful, why don't you go ahead and subscribe? So until next time, this has been Johnny, and I'll catch you later.